pay deeper into detail, if you're not the lead VA or you have a senior there with you on your team, um, sometimes it is okay to ask a portion of the question, take a note and take notes and then talk to, you know, get with your team afterwards and walk through the process. You want to hash it out in the, in the setting, but if you can't, then definitely take notes and um, that way if you have to go back and do a, a second interview with that person one on one, you at least have a written down process. And you're not starting from scratch because if you start from scratch, then the active listening didn't happen. It didn't take place. Mm. So you need to come with something. And then also, let's go back to the elementary school. Use context clues too. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to context clues. <laughs> you have that. Look, you know that's part of the um, the core concepts of business analysis. Having context. That's one. Of the, that's one. Of the, the core concepts and you know we have to like bring that back home you know for those who are listening for those newer VAs you have to uh, your strategy your first strategy when going into an area is to gain, gain knowledge and get context you know about what you're doing in your role and the goal that you're trying to reach and uh, with that being said let's talk about Perspectives. I know in the Bay Box they talk about perspectives. That that's one way. But how can you describe a perspective for those who are listening and those new VAs who want to understand, uh, like how to gain perspective? What are some key ways that you believe will be helpful? Right. So. Um not necessarily referring all the way to the the bad bop or anything but yeah. <laughs> um, i mean we love the bad bop go get us wrong we love you <laughs> right I mean, However, I, talk about I, that perspective. right and i i think when when you start looking at it in in that perspective and you're thinking about okay what is this i agile is this business intelligence you know um to me, to me, it's a little bit different. You kind of have room like agile for me. You kind of have a little bit of room for error because you're um, going through that adaptive process. So if something doesn't work through that first, you know, iteration, you can move on and go to the next iteration and learn from your mistakes and um, put the new requirements in place and put them at the top of the priority list or whatever. Um, so for for new for newer BAs. I think that if they are in an agile environment, I think it actually, it helps them learn a little bit more comfortably because you, I feel like you can fail a little bit more in agile. <laughs> you can pick it yeah. back up and try yeah. it. You, know the, you know what the term is? They say, they, they said, if you're going to um, fail, fail quickly. Fail so. quickly. <laughs> yes. Fail fast. Fail fast. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah. Let's get it Hurry over up. with. Hurry up and, and mess up. Hurry up and mess up and get it over with. Exactly. So we can adapt, inspect and adapt. Yes. <laughs> there, yes. You go. there you go. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and elaborate. I apologize. I'm sorry. Right. And, and also what helped me gain perspective is I'm in the insurance industry. So I've been in healthcare, supplemental insurance, and now I'm in workers' comp insurance. Okay. So workers' comp was new, but new terms new limits new regulations everything was new all the terminology um however I, I i took a few courses i went to my personal development department and i asked them what are the um adjusters taking what are the underwriters taking and i kind of gauged which one was the fundamental level um class and course that i could take and i took that so that i can at least you know, be aware of those simple business terms that everybody was using from the underwriters to the claims department um, to finance within that organization. Hold so, on, you're telling me before you before your soul statement, I know that sounds like agile, before your, <laughs> as you dial, I want to so before that, you're telling us that you took it with you oh, yeah. to learn the material uh, before starting this project. Yes. And they just didn't say, okay, hey, here, we're going to train you, right? No, no, I didn't. 
I, 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 wait a minute, did you, did you, wait a minute, did you say something about training? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh yeah. No, like, <laughs> I, I have yet, I have yet to go to any job, take any contract, have any job where they provided you any sort of training. So Stephanie did the right thing. She did the responsible the thing. She did the mature yeah. thing, right? And she went and she found out the class that she needed to take so that she could be aware of what her colleagues were speaking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and finish, Stephanie. Finish your soul statement. <laughs> OK. OK. So <laughs> well, looking for this class, is I, I took the class. I even broke it. You can break it down into three parts, or you can take the whole thing. Well, of course, this was brand new to me, so I broke it down into three parts so I can you know, capture it in little pieces and segments. Um, but I eventually started using these terms that I picked up out of the classes just so I can familiarize myself with them and to see if anybody else in the organization was picking up on them as well. And it was funny because there is a lot of, there was a lot of people, um, I wanna say, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it age, maybe uh, 30 and below. They were just there to do the job. They didn't care. They didn't care about the terms. They had no real investment into the company. You know, they just, they just wanna check. And the company wanted to know how can they get more of the younger people engaged. And I said, I honestly think it's just in you. <laughs> I, you can't give them it. Um, and then I started researching the IIBA. Mm. And I started getting involved with my local chapter. And, um, you know, others started watching me and getting curious and asking questions and wanting to know different certifications that they could take and different information. And I would pass it along. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed learning and being able to share the knowledge back to them. And that helped my team, not just me. It made us all stronger because we do a lot of uh, post-implementation support. I mean, a lot. So maybe about 50% of our jobs sometimes is post-implementation support. And without my other BAs and colleagues, you know. Hold on, hold on. Um, what was the, sorry to in interrupt. What was the percentage that you said? I said about 50%. Okay. All right. So about 50%. Go ahead. Continue. Yes. So um, my other my other colleagues, they may, they may like doing the production support more than doing the actual gathering of requirements and, you know, sitting down with the stakeholders and things like that. So by me filling them in with certain knowledge that I was learning, it was more of a trade-off. So if I was um, if I was going into a new project, but they were focusing on production support at this time, they were able to tell me issues they were going through, technical capabilities, certain systems they were working on that could affect my project and what I was doing going forward. So um, you know, just sharing that knowledge back and forth, that transfer of knowledge that like, has been very wonderful for me. Linking with the uh, IIBA has been helpful because I've been able to meet business analysts, financial business analysts, um, data analysts, you know, everybody. And they all have a different perspective on things. So, <clears throat> mm, that is so good. And, you know, I like I like the fact that you uh, mentioned the chapter that you're part of, the uh, Palmetto uh, yeah. chapter of the IIBA, right? Yeah. And, what is that experience like? Because uh, just a couple of weeks, we had a uh, we had a discussion just about the experience of just IIBA. And I've, I have a um, student, one of our students, uh, he's from Germany. Uh, we have a Germany client, and uh, he said the activity in the IIBA over there in Germany is like next to nothing, right? And so uh, he's connecting to the ones in the States more because they have more activity mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and everyone has have 